Conquer your accent. Overcoming consonant pronunciation errors. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating aspect of English pronunciation, consonant sounds. More importantly, we're going to tackle one of the most common challenges in mastering these sounds, errors due to the influence of your native language. It's a natural part of learning a new language and nothing to be worried about. Together, we're going to learn how to identify and overcome these hurdles. Firstly, it's important to realize that the pronunciation habits we've formed in our native language can often interfere with new sounds in English. This is because every language has unique sounds and ways to form them. Your native language can shape how you hear, interpret, and reproduce sounds in English, leading to pronunciation errors. This isn't something to feel discouraged about. It's a normal part of learning a new language. Now, let's explore some examples of how native language influence can affect consonant pronunciation in English. Voiced and unvoiced consonants. In English, some pairs of consonants sound very similar. The difference lies in whether your vocal cords vibrate or not. For instance, B and P are the same except B is voiced and P is unvoiced. Speakers of languages without this distinction may struggle to differentiate and pronounce these correctly. Non-existent sounds. Some sounds in English simply don't exist in other languages. For example, the theta and sounds, as in thin and this, respectively, are unique to English and a few other languages. So, speakers of many languages may have difficulty with these sounds. Sound substitution. Sometimes, a learner may substitute an unfamiliar English sound with a similar, familiar sound from their native language. For instance, a Spanish speaker might pronounce the English V as B because the V sound does not exist in Spanish. Here are some general strategies to help you overcome these challenges. Listen and imitate. Find resources where you can listen to native English speakers. Try to imitate their pronunciation, focusing on the sounds that are difficult for you. Practice with minimal pairs. Minimal pairs are pairs of words that differ in only one sound. Practicing with these can help you learn to distinguish between similar sounds. Get feedback. Use language exchange websites or apps to get feedback on your pronunciation from native English speakers. This can be incredibly helpful in pinpointing your areas of improvement. Remember, overcoming pronunciation errors due to native language influence takes time and practice. Don't be too hard on yourself. What matters is that you're making progress. With consistent practice, you'll notice your pronunciation improving. We hope this video has shed some light on how your native language can influence your English pronunciation, and most importantly, how you can overcome it. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.